Welcome to Alley Chance. I have a very special guest with me today. I have Lori from Silly Rabbit Crafts. Lori, how are you doing today? I'm fantastic. Cool. How are you? <laughs> oh, I'm I'm great. I'm a little slap happy if you can't tell. Uh, uh tell me about yourself. Sure. Uh, like you mentioned, I am Lori. I am the owner and artist of Silly Rabbit Crafts. I have spent the last eight years pixelating life as I see it. Uh, anything from uh, cute little 3D desk decor to large uh, art pieces to full size portraits to fish tanks. Uh, I see life in eight bit. <laughs> Wonderful. So, what's your background? I mean, how did you get into? It's called perler art, right? Yes, correct. Okay, how did you get into this? Uh, this is actually so perler art or perler beads ha- have been around since the 60s. I. So, Used to do them when I was younger. I'm in my 30s now. And so I was working customer service. I used to do accounting. So nothing artistic, but I was always an artistic child. And uh, due to downsizing in the economy, we were our whole building was outsourced uh, and all laid off. And this is what I did with my four-year-old at the time to you know pass the time uh, to keep myself from going crazy while filling out applications all day. And... People, you know, I'd post on Facebook, like, hey, look at what cool thing I did today. And people would start buying coasters from me, like my friends. They would buy a Yoshi or a Ghostbuster. And and that's how I put food on the table for my daughter and I while I was unemployed. And it kind of just downward spiraled from there into the craziness that I leave, you know, I leave around today. So I'm going to say it upward spiraled. Yes. Upward <laughs> spi- it's been a great adventure. Yeah. I mean, I watched you have a, a promotional video that I watched that's really cool. Uh, gave me some insights into what you do. Um, I would definitely stop at your table if I was walking by because you just have you have a cool story and you have cool stuff going on. One of the things that said in there uh, that I want to highlight, it mentioned that you have a connection with Disney. What is that connection? Yes. So I am officially the uh, one of their roster artists. So I actually step on property and I do presentations uh, and seminars and I create art on stage. And I am their only pixelation artist that works with this medium so that's really cool yeah thank you that's really cool so i'm going to ask you a question that's kind of outside of what you do uh this is your dream con you go to a lot of cons i know you do this is your dream con who is it that you are most excited to go and meet oh man i've met a lot of really amazing people there is one person on my bucket list. I would still love to meet Bill Murray. He is one of my last Ghostbusters I have not been able to meet. So I would love to have a chance to meet him. So would you make some art for him when you saw him? Oh, I would. I actually have a few pieces that don't go to shows anymore that is Ghostbuster related uh, that have been signed by Ernie Hudson and Dan Aykroyd. And also it's a, a crossover piece with the Godzilla also, and it's signed by a couple Godzilla actors too. So those pieces never leave my my room anymore, but there would definitely be a, probably a little ecto that would be given to him and I'd probably have him sign the rest of my items too. So Very cool. So do you take commissions? I do. I love a good challenge. And are you're doing them like right now? The reason we're doing this is we've got cons canceling and postponing. I'm, I'm trying to find out: Do you do commissions online right now? Yes, I do. Yeah, and I can do. You know, I, I I've done. I do commissions at all times. I do custom bow ties, hair bows. I've done wedding cake toppers. I've done the full size eighteen by twenty four portraits. I can do. Pretty much anything. There hasn't been much that I couldn't do so far. Now, how do people get in touch with you for this? Sure. Uh, Facebook, Instagram, even my website. Also, um, I'm pretty pretty hip to to uh, the internets to keeping informed. So, yeah. Pretty accessible. And we'll put all that in the show notes, too, so people can, can get in touch with you. What would you say is, of all the pieces of art that you've done, which, the, which is one of them that stands out? You're like, that was my Mona Lisa. And if you say Mona Lisa, I swear. (laughs) I mean, no, I haven't made that one yet. But I I made a Tiny Toons piece about 
my year and a half, my first year and a half, I made a Tiny Toons piece. It was a, an 18 by 24 piece, and it was kind of like a class photo. And it was seven full layers of beads in a shadow box. And it was, I, I don't want to say, like, it sounds really bad, but it was it was incredible. And I sat there for six months after just staring at it. And I knew that I couldn't, like, it was going to be so hard to beat. Like, I felt like I had topped at that point. I mean, thankfully I've done a lot more since then and I've gotten over that slump, but, uh, but that was, that that was was the big first, like, that was my first look, my largest art piece, my seven full layers. It had over 10,000 beads in that art piece alone. And my first dimensional piece that I'd made. Yeah. Yeah, that was <laughs> that was a great one. Now, if people go to your your social media, they can see pictures of this stuff, right? Yes. Yeah, I try to keep it as updated as possible. Uh, I'm always trying to upload more and more uh, weekly, uh, but definitely like my tiny tunes, all of my art pieces with the Ghostbusters, the Godzilla, some of my other signed art pieces. Uh, those are also on there too. Cool. Another question I have for you in reading about you. I found out that you're part of Bite Amusement Group. So tell me about that and tell me what you do with it. Sure. So Bite Amusement Group is a nonprofit organization. We are based out of Central Florida, and we are uh, part of the pinball and arcade world. So we specialize in the restoration education of uh, these old school devices. Uh, so we actually go around, and and I'm so fortunate to be a part of, of a team that builds special arcade cabinets and special pinballs. And we throw a a pretty large show in Florida in November most years that it's kind of like a you pay one price and you go in and you play until your fingers fall off. And we have the creators from Atari or Activision and we had Mortal Kombat last year. We'll have more this year, too. And it's just great to see people of all ages going in and enjoying, you know, everything from the 1950s ski balls to the brand new Willy Wonka that was released by Sternball last year. We build 10-foot-tall cabinets, so my team of about uh, six of us, we built the world's largest Donkey Kong cabinet, which stands 10 feet tall, uh, which, of course, the King of Kong, Billy Mitchell, comes out, and he uh, goes on parades with them, and and it's been a great adventure. Now, do you ever use your 8-bit art for these cabinets or in the games? Are they ever utilized, or is this a separate project? So this is actually a separate project. They reached out to me uh, due to me you know, doing the 8-bit art uh, and the style that I, I create, but I've I've gotten my hands, you know, into building and such like that. A lot of people don't see that at shows unless it is a pinball and arcade-related re- show. But I, as of last year, I have been sponsored by a, a local pinball studio to uh, start recreating the 1980 Blackout machine, uh, which is a pinball machine. Uh, and all the pay, all the play fields and all the side art and such will be recreated with perler beads, um, and it'll be fully functioning. So we're also hoping to go for a record at that point. Um, but of course, I do 25 to 52 shows a year, so finding time to jump in <laughs> has been a little interesting. So, but it is definitely on our to do list to create something really awesome. Okay. So how do people get in touch with you? You mentioned your social media. Do you have like a specific one that you prefer? Do you have an address you can send them to? Um, sure. So sillyrabbitcrafts.com will show you some of the information. It'll throw, you know, it'll give you an option to visit my shop. I also, it has an option there to send an email. It also have my Facebook and Instagram. Facebook is probably the easiest because most people have it uh, and who isn't on Facebook a lot. Uh so that's probably the best, but my email, anything works, and I, I try to stay on top of all the communications. So. Wonderful. And I'll put all that in the show notes once again. Uh, Lori, thank you so much. Did you have anything else you wanted to share with the audience? Uh, you know, I just really hope to see a lot of people at, at upcoming shows. I hope that we all uh, uh, keep you know, creating arts. Art's very important for, 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 the, for the world, yeah. <laughs> Thanks again, Lori. I hope that you get an abundance of work off of this. It's so, so cool. Thank you so much, Rob. You can find Alley Chats on Facebook by searching for at Alley Chats. You can also visit us at our webpage, smgpods.com slash Alley Chats for links to all our episodes and other cool stuff. One easy way to support our show is to rate and review Alley Chats wherever you listen to your podcasts. Those ratings really help us out. 
and help others find our show as well. Alley Chats is produced and edited by Rob Southgate for Southgate Media Group. Be sure to subscribe to Alley Chats because you definitely don't want to miss an episode. Thanks again to our affiliate sponsors, Hunt a Killer and Tweaked Audio. Links to them are on our webpage and in the show notes. This wouldn't be possible without them. Our theme song is by Benny and the No Goods. Check out their awesome music at bennyandthenogoods.bandcamp.com. If you're an artist or writer or creative type that would have a table at an artist alley and would like to be on Alley Chats, message us through the Facebook page or email us directly at southgatemediagroup at gmail.com and we'll set up an interview. Thanks for listening, everybody. We'll be back tomorrow with another fantastic show.